Welcome to my presentation. I am Captain Ronnie Rani. In this video, I will be taking you through steps of how to draw a graph and the data that is provided in the graph is of draft versus TPC. At the end of this video, please give a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification as soon as a new video is posted on my channel. Okay, now we are going to construct the graph as per the data that is given to us in the problem. On the y-axis, we have the draft in meters and on the x-axis, we have TPC in metric tons per centimeter. The scale that we are going to use is Axis TPC 10 centimeters equal to 1 metric ton per centimeter and on the y-axis draft 10 centimeters will be equal to 1 meter. We start at the point of origin which will be the first data set that is a 3 meter draft the TPC is 8 meters per 8 metric tons per centimeter. Then we are going to mark off the drafts on the y-axis three, three and a half, four, four and a half. And on the x-axis, we're going to mark off the TPC in metric tons per centimeter at eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and 10. At this dot over here is the second data set at three and a half meters. The TPC is eight and a half metric tons per centimeter. At this point, at 4 meter draft, it is 9.23 metric tons per centimeter. And at this point, at 4.5 meters, it is 10 metric tons per centimeter. We join the four dots and we get the curve for TPC. It is not a linear curve, it is a parabolic curve, and hence it does not, the TPC does not increase on a linear scale. Now, we need to find the TPC at 3.2 meters, 3.7 meters, and 4.3 meters. So at 3.2 meters, we draw the horizontal line till it meets the curve for TPC, and then from there, we drop a vertical onto the x-axis, and we get that at 3.2 meter draft, the TPC is 8.19 metric tons per centimeter. Next, at 3.7 meters draft, we draw the horizontal till it meets the TPC curve, and from there we drop a vertical to the x-axis, and we see that the TPC at 3.7 meter draft is 8.78 metric tons per centimeter. Next, at the 4.3 meter draft, we drop we draw a horizontal till it meets the TPC curve, and from there we drop a vertical down to the x-axis, and at the x-axis it meets at 9.7 meters, 9.7 metric tons per centimeter. Thus we have found the TPCs at 3.2, 3.7, and 4.3 meter drafts. Now coming to part C of the problem, if the ship is floating at 4 meter draft and then loads 50 tons of cargo, 10 tons of fresh water, 25 tons of bunkers, bunkers meaning fuel, as well as 45 tons of ballast are discharged, and we have to find the final mean draft. We know that at the draft of 4 meters, the TPC is 9.23 metric tons per centimeter. So we drop a we draw a horizontal from 4 meters till it meets the curve and from there we drop the vertical and we know it is 9.23. Then we come to the part C of the solution. We saw from the curve that the TPC was 3 metric tons per centimeter. Cargo loaded was 50 metric tons, fresh water taken was 10 metric tons, bunkers taken were 25 metric tons, and ballast pumped out was 45 metric tons. Thus, the net dead weight loaded was 40 metric tons. 
50 plus 10 is 60, 60 plus 25 is 85, 85 minus 45 is 40. So the net dead weight loaded is 40 metric tons. Increase in draft is, will be equal to this net dead weight loaded equal to 40 divided by the TPC that we got from the curve that was 9.23 metric tons per centimeter. 40 divided by 9.23 gives us 4.334 centimeters or 0 0.043 meters. Since the dead weight loaded is positive, that means the draft will increase. This increase in draft 0 0.043 has to be added to the original draft of 4 meters, thus giving the final 4.043 meters. I am going to draw the same graph on a different scale and I will explain to you why you should not be doing so. On the y axis you have the in meters, every 2 centimeters will be equal to 1 meter. On the x axis we have TPC metric tons per centimeter and every 2 centimeters will be equal to 1 metric ton per centimeter. Now, since there is no data given to us from 0 meter draft till 3 meter draft, we should not be drawing anything from 0 meters to 3 meters. That is why this linear line that I have drawn is in red and I have put a sign which indicates that this is forbidden. We start with the origin 0, 0 and we draw the drafts from 1 meter to 5 meters on the y axis and the TPC from 0 to 10 metric tons per centimeter on the x axis. At 3 meter draft we have a point, at 3.5 meter draft we have another point, at 4 meter draft is the third point and at 4.5 meter draft we have the fourth point at their respective TPCs. Now what we have to find after we draw the curve for the TPC, what we have to find is TPC at 3.2 meter drafts, 3.7 meter draft and 4.3 meter drafts. From each of these drafts, we draw the horizontal till the lines meet the TPC curve and from those points, we drop the horizontals onto the x-axis and we get the respective TPCs which is, which are 8.2, 8.9 and 9.8 metric tons per centimeter. Now as you will see that the curve, the actual curve connecting these four points is very small and because it is very small, the accuracy with which you will read, with which also you will mark off the drafts on your y-axis and then you will read the TPC on the x-axis will not be as accurate as you had drawn in this graph earlier. Hence, please do not draw very small scales which minimizes your accuracy levels. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Do give a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can get a notification as soon as a new video is posted on my channel. Goodbye, thank you and take care.